Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. We have a huge any type update, or at least I think it's huge with uh, a couple of great new features, which I wanted to show you. The first one is the new gallery, uh, which consists of a lot of different templates. And uh, I haven't been able to test this too much, but I tried it uh, just before I started to film this video because there is a lot of things happening right now in the note-taking space so I have a lot of videos to film. That means that if you're interested in note-taking and productivity please do subscribe and like this video. Anyways back to this uh, gallery right here. This is basically templates. So you have trip planners, you have Zen system. This one I actually like a lot. You have the Zettel custom for smart notes. You have study hub, recipe book, there are a lot of them in here. Habit trackers, daily journals, and you can choose to install them into one of your spaces or create a whole new space to install them into. Uh, I just installed the Zen system, which is really, really beautiful. So if I delete my current things right here, uh, again, this is not... Um, space I care too much about. I only use it for YouTube videos. If I now jump into the home space, I will delete this as well. I was playing around with the app. You can see that this comes, uh, this template comes with uh, a guide that makes it easier for you to use. And this is really beautifully designed. I have no clue how it is done, but it is really beautifully designed. Uh, you can change uh, the emojis here, you can change things within the template. So just like any other app, you would have templates in. Uh, this works the same, but having a template is a great place to start. And this is huge for any type, since one of the biggest issues with any type is their onboarding, as well as how hard it actually is to learn the app. And having a template to start from can make it so, so much easier that's why I think this app is amazing so it comes with a bunch of uh, example tasks you have progress right here which is a select type uh, so I could go in and I could select the progress right here I would still want to see the formulas so I could create this by myself but right now we have to do a lot of manual work you can link this to an area which is something I have done a lot in my different videos actually who has who have made this who is the person who made this Hexara7777 shout out to Hexara7777 for creating such an amazing uh, amazing template as you can see here things are linked beautifully together so these are everything from the template these are my personal things which I will go in and delete later but this is an amazing template right here uh, so I would recommend trying this out if you want to try out the para system because this is beautiful. It has an inbox as well, which makes it a lot easier for you to capture things. And when we are on top of capturing, I wanted to show a new another update. I do not have my mobile phone with me and I can't actually record on my iPhone. I am having problems with that, but you have uh, now a way to send things direct directly into your any type, and you can easily do that by pressing the uh, share button and actually uh, sending it to any type, which is uh, something you can do in almost every app. So you might be familiar with this. You can uh, just send it to any type, which is amazing. The next thing we have uh, inside of the mobile for quick capturing is actually pinned object types, which again is huge for quick capturing. I have been wanting this for uh, a long time now, ever since I started using the mobile app. You can actually pin the types you use the mo most. So for most of us, that will be things like tasks. In my case, it will be YouTube video ideas. I can pin them at the top to more easily be able to um, create those types, which I 
I, I'm grateful for. Uh, I've touched on the in-app experience uh, and I wanted to touch on the web clipper as well. So let's actually jump into Medium and we will find an article I can capture. So five short books, uh, perfect for busy readers. This is good. I installed the AnyType Web Clipper, which is a Chrome Web Clipper, which means that it works in Microsoft Edge. Every Chrome extension does. Uh, so we can press this right here. You get the title. You can change that if you want. Uh, you can choose which space you want to put this in and you can save it as different types right here. So I will actually save this as an article and I will include the page uh, content. You can actually remove that as well. I will press save and it will save it to my any type. I can press open in app and it should open in the app right here. And it does. Here I have the whole article. As you can see, it struggles a bit with pictures. Uh, and just in general have a few design problems but overall it does a great uh, job at capturing especially text it doesn't do the best job at capturing pictures uh, but the the web clipper came out yesterday so uh, it will probably be improved let's see if we can capture just part of a text uh, if i do right click does that work any type web clipper, select object. So my internet connection is a little slow. That might be the problem. Um, can I just save it? I can't. Um, if I try to filter object, so it is a little bit slow. It might be my internet connection, but it seems like it is possible to clip parts of a web page as well. But I'm not totally sure about that. Um, so it does a good job at capturing text, which is a great start. And I believe that it will just become better. I mean, it came out yesterday, so uh, be patient. At least that's what I'm telling myself. So uh, again, a huge update. People have been wanting a web clipper for a long time and I've seen no taking apps been around for four or five years without uh, a proper web clipper. So this is an amazing start and any type seems like it is going um, the way we wanted to and they are developing the app. Uh, as you can see, I have been testing out the web clipper a little bit before I made this video. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you is uh, a thing that I actually don't use a lot and that is files as objects. I do not use too many files inside of my AnyType, but if we jump into this, I can show you how this works. So you know that you can store files inside of AnyType. Now you have the ability to change uh, the name of the file and add new properties to the file as well. This makes it a lot easier to use any type as a storage for files as well and easily be able to find your files later. So that's basically how uh, this works, which is again a great update uh, and a much needed update. So uh, I do enjoy the updates. I think they are great, especially the web clipper and and the uh, oh, it is completely still inside of my head. Uh, the web clipper and the gallery. And those are amazing updates. And uh, we have a couple of great, um, great mobile updates as well, which makes it a lot easier to quick capture. And we have easier batch exporting as well. So AnyType is doing amazing. There are a lot of great things about this app and it seems like it is only getting better and better. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.